so let's start with our ornament and let's have a look of uh, on the materials that we're going to need so here are some watercolors so you can use any type of watercolors that you might have a simple round brush uh, maybe a number four or a number six and then some watercolor paper if you don't have watercolor paper you can use some thick paper also pencil some glue a pair of scissors any type of string beads so you can use any kind of bead and string and these for making the ornaments so if these are mdf but if you don't have these you can also cut a thick cardboard uh, you will need two pieces and this is about two inches so this is a good size for an ornament so let's move to the next step this is all that we need for the first step so one side is going to be white because we are going to paint it so we just cut it this just roughly draw it and then just cut out the circle next part is you take your string and cut whatever length you want and then we just going to glue the two pieces together You can easily use cardboard or a very thick paper instead of this. So slightly longer we will keep, no need to leave any gap here. And then you just sandwich it like this and maybe you can just like this clip it with something like this and then we have to let it dry and then once it is dry we can just uh, go ahead and glue this uh, actually we can glue this right now so we just go ahead and glue this also and then uh, leave everything for drying before we move on to the next step just applying the glue not too much and once it is done and once it is dry you can also cut off and make it even neat then we just leave it for drying okay so once this is nice and dry you can add the bead also and then we will just draw our Christmas scene so it's up to you what you want to draw you can just draw some holly berries or you can draw uh, like these pine leaves or a pine cone or anything that you want and I'll just show you the technique of how to color it and if you want to follow my design you can just follow this what I'm going to make is a robin so I will start with a branch so this is not very detailed or a very very realistic kind of a drawing it's just a representation and a cute illustration so this is the branch and i'm just going to draw some holly berries because they have a very christmasy feel so this is a simple way of drawing the leaves and then here the berries we will just add we don't need to draw them So like this I think that's it I will just leave it here and then here we will make make our robin so I am just roughly drawing it
you can also take out uh, refer to a picture of the original bird and then just take its help to draw so robins are usually round and fluffy so like this and we just make the tail go So not much detailing is needed because it's not a very detailed kind of photocolor. It's just a simple loose style Christmas. And then again to add the Christmassy feel. I just go ahead and add one Santa hat. So like this. Cute and flowy. With a pom pom here. So I think that's with the illustration and next we just start coloring all right we'll start with coloring so grab your water and we will start by adding a background so all you have to do is add some clear water on the sides and you can use any type of watercolor because this is not something very detailed or uh, that you're painting for someone you're just painting for your own home so you can even use the kids watercolor that you might have and even the brush any brush is okay you don't need any kind of professional uh, supplies for this okay so i've added water now what i'll do is just i'll take some blue color here and then i'll just apply it at a few places like this okay light and dark just add some drops then i will wash my brush take some water in the brush and then we will just kind of spread this a little so that it's light at some places and dark at some places so it will give us uh, the look of sky or a blue background it can be anything if you think it has lightened then just go ahead and add some more color and watercolor tends to become light after drying so just keep that in mind okay now this has to dry before we move on to the next part so we will just uh, wait for this uh, to become nice and dry and then we will move on to the next step all right so the background is now nice and dry so we'll move ahead we'll start with the branch and i'm just taking some brown color and we start with dark color And you just leave the part where the leaves are overlapping so we don't do it there. And then again you add some more dark color and then just add a few drops here and there. So that's it the branch is done and the next part is the holly berry leaves so this again be careful that you are not doing it first where the path is still wet like this we just leave some white spaces it's not much detailed it's a very easy watercolor just follow the shape of the leaves and then just leave it like that if this brown bleeds a little bit that is okay wash your brush a little and then uh, make the make a few leaves uh, look a little lighter a few a little darker you don't have to do anything special just leave a few white gaps okay and then we have uh, we this should dry before we add the berries so we can just move to the bird and since robin is brown and orange so i'm just gonna wet this 
and we'll start with the darker brown you can also use your tissue to soak up the extra paint and water just let it go here it is the tail no detailing just let it flow and then we'll just take this bright orange and then just put it here on the chest it's usually in a heart shape like this and the tummy is white so this we can leave white and just I'm drawing a line here and then just doing the feet with a darker brown or a black just like this that appear to be grabbing the branch and a few dark strokes on the feathers we'll come back to the orange because we want it to be nice and bright and the rest of this is all brown and once this dries we will add the eye and the beak so let we will just let it dry a little so that we can add the further details okay so the next part is the eye and the beak so i'm taking a very little black and we have to leave a white space in the beak so i'm just making it like this and then a very tiny eye if you are not very comfortable uh, with the brush then you can also use a marker or a pen to do this So that's it a little more orange here just get this heart shape so I think that's it and then lastly we will just go ahead and do the hat so this brim will be white so i'm just taking a little very little black again you can again do this uh, with your pen if you're not comfortable just adding a little black very light so that it looks like gray same thing with this pom pom because it is supposed to be white so we just use a little black it looks so that it looks like gray to give uh, the appearance of a shadow again not too much just a little I'm just going to pick it up like this on my brush again it and then just add some nice and bright red here so what I'm doing is making an outline then wash the brush totally and then you just take this color and just spread it Again, wash it. So this will give you a nice shadow kind of a thing. With variations in the color. So 
I think that's it and now we'll just add the berries just this uh, round shapes and you can leave a little gap in them that's okay it's very tiny just a tiny gap and a and set of three berries I'm doing so I think that's it okay now as a last touch to give it a more festive feeling uh, what I'm going to do is this is optional if you have gold color available with you you can just use your gold and just splatter on this so that's I'm go uh, that is what I'm going to do as a finishing touch so here's the last part, the golden splatter. If you want thick splatters, then load your brush with more color, more water. And all I do is just put my finger here and then just add it. This is giving a nice and fine splatter. That is what I want. then you can do uh, according to your taste how much you like if you like very less then do it less otherwise do more and here is it it's now done so we just leave it for drying and then it will be ready to decorate so here it is your ornament is now ready and as I said, you can make any type of uh, Christmas themed illustration that you want or you can just make this. And now it's all ready to go up on the tree. And I don't suggest uh, putting anything else on this because watercolors are not very good with any kind of varnishes or anything. You just uh, wipe it with a dry cloth uh, and that way you can easily maintain this. That's all. So you can make your own designs. Use the techniques that I have taught you and you can come up with a number of designs of your own. And I hope that you enjoyed this session and you will make this ornament. And if you like my work, you can visit my website which is bytheartbug.com. In fact, anywhere on the social media, you can find me by the same name. And there are lots of free tutorials on my Pinterest as well as on my YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe and check them out. And if you want to go in-depth with watercolors, you can also join my Skillshare class. The link is below. And you also get a free subscription for one month if you join it through my link. So happy painting and happy holidays to you all in advance. Thank you.